Hello and welcome to this Generation AM tutorial about chat and annotations. It's often vital for a project to be able to discuss changes or add comments to a shot, either within the facility or even worldwide. There are multiple ways to communicate within Generation. To add comments to a specific item, right-click on the item in the storyboard and select Media Notes. Alternatively, you can select Media Notes from the context menu in the Play view. In the Comments window, every user having access to the project can view and add notes. To track changes, notes are logged with timestamp, computer and username. On a project basis, you can add notes by selecting Comments from the project menu. When adding notes, the project lock status does not matter. Notes can be added in View, Lock and Edit mode. To allow access to the chat system from the outside world, the notes are stored as standard XML files, which can be modified by third-party applications as well. For easy accessibility, these files live in the data subfolder of the current project folder called Chat. Comments for single items have the same name as the item itself. Project comments are stored under the name Project Global Chat. To close the comments window, click on the separator line. The notes micon on each item turns blue to indicate that comments have been added to that item. Click on the micon to bring up an overlay containing the comments. You can also double click inside the overlay to open the comments window. Press F5 to toggle permanent comment overlays on or off. From the item context menu, you can also select audio notes. This allows you to attach a WAV file containing, for example, spoken annotations from a conference call as a comment to the item. A yellow A in the top right corner of the item indicates that an audio note has been added. Yet another way to communicate and jot down ideas are paint annotations. In the Play view, select Paint from the context menu. Paint annotations can be added to both individual frames as well as to the entire clip. A highlighted bar on the bottom of the time ruler indicates that a clip annotation has been added. Highlighted peaks indicate individual frame annotations. Similar to the chat XML files, the paint annotations can be modified by third-party applications as well. They live as simple TIFF files in a folder with the same name as the item in a subfolder of the annotation folder. With these features, combined with Generation's advanced proxy and mirror system that allows to have proxies even on remote locations, Flawless communication and interaction between multiple artists and facilities is guaranteed. This concludes the chat and annotations tutorial for Generation AM. Stay tuned for more tutorials here on our YouTube channel and check out our website for an evaluation copy. Generation AM. Just change the speed you work.